undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive. Okay, where is it? Okay, there you go. Hi, what's going on? My name is Pigeon John, live from Santa A. And you are tuned in and watching undergroundhiphopblog.com, the hottest blog in America right now. Yo, what up? This is Pause One representing undergroundhiphopblog.com. We're here in lovely Orange County, California, Santa Ana to be specific, at the Crosby, here with none other than Pigeon John. What's going on, John? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I'm chilling, man. You out here rocking the show tonight, right? Yeah, heck yeah, man. We were rocking uh, the freaking uh, the Crosby free show. And uh, yeah, first time here. And actually, it might be the first time playing Santa Ana, the glorious city, yeah. So, but you've rocked Orange County before, though, right? This is specifically Santa Ana, is your first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Played all over Orange County, uh, first time in Santa A, and uh, glad to be here. That's dope. So, you're, you're set to go up in a minute. I wanted to ask you, like, performing, I know you performed all over the country, all over the place. What goes through your mind as far as, like, you know, the mindset you have to have? Like, I'm pretty sure you've done a lot of these uh, the records a few times, but there's some new ones that you're definitely getting in there tonight. What goes through your mind before you perform? I think I have a Hare Krishna uh, and George Harrison, and uh, and I think of the locals of uh, Santa A. I like I, one part of touring I like the the most is meeting the people that live in the the venues I play and stuff, because uh, I have a uh, you know open eyes and open ears, and you know just playing in front of the locals is my uh, main concern and stuff, and um, just thinking about rocking the show and doing a good job and and bringing the party to them. You know how hip hop started was just rocking the party, so you know having that mindset like I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna have fun. After all this time you've been doing it, what keeps you just like motivated to go in there and, and make every single night, every single show fun? Oh man, I'd say definitely the people that come to the shows keep me going. Um, some have been coming for years, and some it's their first show. And uh, I think meeting the people and seeing their faces and stuff is what keeps me going. You know. So, like, different towns, there's always a different response. Like, you get different types of energy. And there's always different openers. You get different acts. Like, has there ever been a time where you got booked on a bill where, like, some of the acts were, like, really left field or really right field? Like, mm -hmm. where you kind of, like, were the sore thumbs? That ever happened? Yeah, man. I, I, I've been in uh, many shows where uh, the opening acts uh, seem to be the sore thumb. But I have been the opening act for a long time, and I was, a, I was the sore thumb as well, for sure. Um, so, I, I, you know, there... Re regardless of uh, the styles and stuff, I just love uh, when we all come together and just put it on the table and stuff. So it's it's been good. It's been good. You know what I'm saying? It's been real good. For for all the fans out there, as far as the social media, do you run the social media yourself? As far as like Twitter, Instagram, are you big on Instagram? How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, I do. I do the Instagram stuff and uh, and Twitter myself and Facebook. Do all that myself and um, the website. Uh, me and my friends handle that. that part so, so there's definitely like a hands-on. Like, so if fans want to reach out to Pigeon John, just know that you're talking to Pigeon John when you yeah. reach out to him. So, I wanted to talk about something new. You got a project out called Dragon Slayer. Am yeah. I right? Yeah. So, yeah. I, I wanted you to elaborate on that, kind of break it down for the people out there. Uh, that's that's the latest record. Uh, came out on Quantum Projects, and uh, got to work with Irve Salters, a dude from uh, General Electric, a band that I looked up to for a while, and I reached out. For him to uh, to produce the record, uh, kind of in the realm of uh, how Prince Paul produced uh, De La Soul, like one producer, and uh, I wrote all the songs and made all the beats, and then I just handed them over to him, and he kind of fleshed it out. So I never did that before in my career, and I loved it. So I'm gonna do the next record called Encino Man that comes out next year, early 2013, um, with Irve Salters, and uh, the single Set It Loose comes out in October. So the title is Encino Man. Yes. So are you a movie buff? Yeah, yeah, I love movies, man. And for some reason, I got in a weird mind state, and I, I said I wanted to do a little trilogy, but not, not to say, hey, I'm doing a trilogy, but in my mind. So Dragon Slayer, which was a movie in the 80s I grew up listening or watching, a little blonde-haired bastard. Um, and then, uh, and then I, I spent like five years in the valley, and the next record is going to be talking about those uh, days and that feeling of uh, living in the valley in Sino, man. And it uh, should be good, man. It says, I consider it brand new music, and, and hopefully the people like it. That's really dope. So for all the fans out there, make sure you get it. You want to drop some links so they can find uh, all the classic stuff that you've dropped, as well as the new stuff that you're coming out with. You want to give them some links? 
Sure, man. You can check out uh, PigeonJohn.com. And uh, it has all my old albums and, and, uh, and the latest one as well, all on iTunes and Amazon, uh, stuff like that. But uh, you can check the SoundCloud, too. Or YouTube. Go check out the music, man. But uh, check out Dragon Slayer. And uh, I think uh, it's a little departure from my earlier records. Um, but I think it's uh, my true voice. And uh, the, the next record, Encino Man, is an extension of that. And it's going to be Slam Dam, Thank You Ma'am, Honey Jam with the Disco Pam. <laughs> That's what's up. This is Pause One, Pigeon John, at the Crosby, Santa Ana, California, and you already know, it's undergroundhiphopblog.com. Peace. Undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive.